Better send those refunds. Into the flow of a game, and um, especially when you're at home and, and things start going well for you as a team, the chance to grab it. And once you grab it, especially when you're on your road, you got to keep it. I have nothing against the Cincinnati Bengals, but I'd be lying if I didn't say I didn't expect this result. Shame on me for discounting the Cincinnati Bengals because we're talking about the defending AFC champion here who have been on a crazy hot streak even coming into this game. But we have a lot to discuss because I know Bill's Mafia isn't feeling so good after how things went down in today's game. So before we get to the content, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and turn on our notifications to help the channel grow because this is going to be our first of two post-game recaps we're bringing you guys today. Now that we get all of that out of the way. Break! You know what absolutely crushes my soul? Whenever I carefully and meticulously make multiple picks and let's say three out of my four players hit and my fourth player unfortunately didn't even play in the second half of the game or left the game early. And as a result, I lose my money. That wasn't very nice. Which is why Prize Picks is now protecting all of us from that happening ever again. Introducing Reboot. If you happen to ever pick more on a player's projection and that player leaves the game in the first half and he doesn't return in the second half, then prize picks will automatically disqualify that player. So let's say I chose three players and picked more on all of them, and one of those players has to leave the game, unfortunately due to an injury and doesn't return in the second half. Then my three picks will automatically turn into two picks. I play prize picks every single day and I post my picks onto my Instagram story. And right now, prize picks is willing to match up to $100 of your deposit when you use my promo code microphone. So use my promo code right now let's win some money together and thank you prize picks for the sponsor mike chuck 1212 what's going on everybody the buffalo bills were without a doubt the most complete team in the entire nfl i mean coming out of this past off season it seemed like the bills had all of their needs met already and they were just trying to load up for a big push in this postseason as a matter of fact a lot of people had the buffalo bills as their favorite to win the super bowl this year and i can't necessarily blame them i mean we already know Know about the Buffalo Bills offense. It features a top three quarterback in Josh Allen, an all pro wide receiver in Stephon Diggs, one of the more underrated tight ends in the entire NFL that recently got a contract extension in Dawson Knox, one of the better number two wide receivers in Gabe Davis. And then you get to their defense. This is a defense that had Greg Rousseau and Ed Oliver coming into this season, in addition to Shaq Lawson. And then they decided, hey, we're going to fortify this pass rush even more so with Von Miller, which was kind of a luxury purchase if you think about it. That unfortunately unfortunately didn't pan out because Von Miller sustained a season ending injury, but their linebacker unit isn't a joke either. Tremaine Edmonds and Matt Milano, Tredavious White and the overperforming Kair Elam, Jordan Poyer. And when the game started versus the Cincinnati Bengals, who are the defending AFC champions, one would assume that since it was snowing the way it did, and the fact that the Buffalo Bills are comfortable playing in these conditions, that things would go the Buffalo Bills way. Unfortunately, that couldn't be further from the truth. Their defense was completely incapable of stopping the buzzsaw of the Cincinnati Bengals offense. Josh Allen wasn't able to register a single touchdown pass throughout the game, which is shocking when you think about it. A part of you has to wonder whether or not the Buffalo Bills choked or if this had more to do with the fact that the Cincinnati Bengals played phenomenal football. And to be honest, I think this is more of a situation where the Buffalo Bills just clearly got outplayed and outcoached. I mean, I don't want to point the blame finger entirely at the Buffalo Bills first year offensive coordinator, Ken Dorsey, which by the way, I've been following his entire career. Fun fact, I mean, I remember this man when he was the quarterback for the Miami Hurricanes, first collegiate football player I've ever followed. So I am actively rooting for Ken Dorsey's success. But in this instance, a man that hasn't really gotten the love that he deserves, even last year, we were shouting this man out on this channel, is Lou Anaromo. Last year, Lou Anaromo did a remarkable job game planning against Patrick Mahomes and Ty 
Tyreek Hill and the Kansas City Chiefs. And this year, he did a fantastic job game planning against Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills, despite the Buffalo Bills having the advantage. We mentioned how the Buffalo Bills have some remarkable players on their defense. The Cincinnati Bengals also have some studs on their defense as well. You saw Sam Hubbard make a big play last week. One of the best acquisitions of the 2021 offseason was Trey Hendrickson, bar none. Clearly, the Cincinnati Bengals had revenge on their minds following this game. I mean, just based upon what Joe Burrow said about the way the NFL decided to handle the fact that the Cincinnati Bengals and Buffalo Bills game should not be played after what happened with the DeMar Hamlin incident, you could tell that the Bengals were a little bit upset about the way the NFL decided to handle that. I mean, you had them making fun of the coin toss stipulation where if specific teams made it to the AFC championship game, they were going to have to decide who gets home field advantage via a coin toss, which is no longer going to be a problem. You had Joe Burrow literally saying that the NFL should refund the tickets to those games that were sold at a neutral site at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, because now it looks like it's going to be the Cincinnati Bengals versus the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Championship. As a matter of fact, at the time that I'm recording this, Joe Burrow's interview where he said this has gone viral. How much did that motivate you coming into this? You better send those refunds. <laughs> And now we have a special treat for us for the AFC Championship. The Cincinnati Bengals face off against the Kansas City Chiefs in an epic rematch following what happened last year. Now, granted, it's not going to be as heated because you're missing the Tyreek Hill Eli apple element that made last year's rivalry so special i mean these two just went at each other and talked so much mess especially after that second half stop that eli apple had on tyree kill going into halftime but it seems like there's a lot more storylines going into this one the cincinnati Bengals, once again still feel disrespected a lot of people counted them out if you remember following joe burrow's loss last year to the los angeles rams there were a bunch of statistics about how how usually quarterbacks that make it to the super bowl and lose in their first super Super Bowl don't end up going back to the Super Bowl on top of that you have the Kansas City Chiefs that are clearly upset about the fact that they didn't go to the Super Bowl last year and they had a remarkable team last year they still have a fantastic team this year I'm really excited to see how Lou Anaromo handles this upcoming matchup because he did a masterful job against the Buffalo Bills I can only imagine him once again coming up with a crazy game plan for Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs another storyline that we need to watch out for for this AFC championship is how is Patrick Mahomes knee doing how's his high I'm sorry, how's his high ankle sprain doing? He willed the Kansas City Chiefs to the AFC Championship on one leg. Is that going to be a factor in this upcoming AFC Championship game? Well, I'd like to hear what you have to say in the comment section down below. We're going to be coming up with another recap for the Dallas Cowboys versus the San Francisco 49ers game. You guys already know I'm a diehard Dallas Cowboy fan. I hope I don't appear on this channel in tears in a few hours from now. So if you want to support our grind, make sure you drop like, subscribe, turn on our notifications down below. And if you're a Bills fan, let me know who are you pointing the blame finger on for this loss? Do you think it's your coaching staff? Do you think you got outplayed? Do you think it was Josh Allen? Josh Allen didn't have the best game. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Aside from that, I'm your boy, Mike. I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.